friends, this is Lucretia. Today, I'm gonna share with you three books I absolutely have been loving this week. And one of them I read at least twice a year. Yeah, that sounds about right. I read it over and over again because it has such great information. So the first one I wanna share with you is Caffeine for the Creative Mind. This book right here has some amazing exercises. I got it because I used to do graphic design years ago. I still do it. Um, but I thought that some of my work was getting a little bit stale. So this book gives you crazy little ideas in it that tells you all kinds of little silly things to do. Like it tells you to have a competition with your coworkers to build this epic statue only out of office supplies. So if you're looking for something a little creative to do, that's a good book. You might want to check it out. Another one that I really, really like, this is the one I read a couple of times a year, is How I Raised Myself from Failure to Success in Selling. This book right here was sent to me by John Michael Morgan. Is that not just one of the most epic names? This has how you introduce yourself by all your given Christian names. I'm just saying. Anyway. He sent me this book along with another one. I'll share the other book later because both of them have been amazing books for me to read. We all sell. Doesn't make a difference if you have a business or not. You sell yourself every time you go in for a job interview. You sell yourself to the people that you work with. You sell yourself to your family. This is a great book. Um, get the book version. Don't go and get an audio book. You'll totally miss some of the stories that Frank shares, the author's name is Frank, that Frank shares in the book. You'll miss some of the stories. And this was one of those books where I have to sit down and truly absorb the information. But he talks about how he failed at selling insurance and then what he did to get better. Great book to read, get it. Thank you, John, I love it, it's one of my favorites. Another book I wanna share with you, I got this one last week, read through it in a day and a half. Um, it's called The Crossroads of Should and Must, Find and Follow Your Passion. First off, I'm an artist. I love illustrated books, and this book is beautiful. Apparently, this started off as a post that was shared on Medium, and it resonated with so many people, the artist developed it into a book, and it is stunning. I love it. It's hefty. Oh, I just lo I love books like this especially when they've got a message that just hits home with you. It talks about how we are stuck in a crossroads of doing what people tell us we should do versus what we know we must do in our heart. And it really resonated with me because I've been at a crossroads myself with a lot of things in my life. And it's not that this book gave me permission, it just completely validated that I know I'm going down the right path. So if you're looking for a little bit of inspiration and you love drawings and things like this, get the book. In fact, get all three of them. Add them to your library, they'll change your life. They'll change your way of thinking, they'll change you. This is Lucretia, thanks for visiting my channel. Make sure you subscribe and I'll check you later.